Good. Hey guys, I said I need to have more personality in my videos. So this is a uh, Jordan on the Total Justice Gaming channel, and I got a Jackknife dick profile for you guys. Um, <laughs> It's like my name is Jordan, they said I didn't yeah. have personality. <laughs> <laughs> so this is with the new support from the new set, Evolution Mutation. We got our cool little flag. Yeah. We got our buddy rare of the uh, Galaxy Dragon Rare Jackknife. Uh, there's no real preference for buddy, just make it whatever you want. I just made it this because it's, it's shiny and everybody can see it. That's a good reason. Yeah. I like that reason, man. Starting off with the items, I have two foils and one common. Makes me cry every night. I'm sorry I don't have anymore. <laughs> uh, you jackass. The equip cost is uh, pay gauge to equip it, and then you can rest it to restand a jackknife on your board. So you pretty much never attack with this guy. Um, you just put it, you equip it, and then you put jackknife in the center, and he acts as your defense because you don't play any shields in this deck. Uh, just to restand, extra restand, because this is kind of otk ish Going on to spells, we have three fate information. Uh, just pay a gauge. Look, uh, look at top three cards, add a size two or less, or an item to your hand, and send the rest of the drop zone. So this just uh, cycles through your deck, gets cards. Two of the soul generator. Uh, it's pay gauge, and you can restand a card on your board, a uh, Neo Dragon on your board that has two souls in it. So just an extra attack. Three Star Jack repair. Uh, you have a jackknife on the board. Uh, put the top card of your deck into the gauge, and put a card from your drop zone into uh, the soul of the jackknife. So you can just filter through and add what you want and engage in the process. This is only the first For the draw engine, we have uh, two Dragon Arms Factory. So you pitch a Dragon Arms, draw two cards. Uh, just fuels the drop zone and then gets you to the more cards you need. Four star lever. Um, <clears throat> you just, uh, put a soul from a card on the board into the drop zone and you gain a life and draw two cards. Uh, you don't really want to put cards from your soul into the drop zone, but drawing cards is nice, so it kind of makes up for it. Uh, on to monsters for side zero, we have. Um, Spear, Cemetery, Star, Remnant, uh, if you would call a Neo Dragon, uh, its gauge cost is reduced by one, so you can just, if you're low on gauge, you can just call out a bunch of jackknives. There's loops that you can go through to attack for a bunch of damage, and this helps us get the plays off a lot easier. Um, on to another non-Dragon Arms card, there's, I don't know any names, uh, V Gradu Gradation Quantum Ruler. Uh, when you call them, no, this one's shiny here. That one's double rare. Downgrade yourself. No, that doesn't make any sense. Make yourself humble. Okay, you're right. <laughs> like the Mamba. Yeah. The most humble. Humble, humble is the Mamba. Uh, Shut up. Where is you? Uh, so when you call him, if you have a uh, jackknife or a neo dragon, if you call it, and there's a neo dragon with one or more souls, you can engage and draw. So it just cycles through, gets cards, gets you your plays. Uh, on to the uh, dragon arms, we have two dragon arms. Uh, M4Y D1. I don't know if that has, like, you're supposed to say that somehow. Uh, if it's in the soul of a jackknife, you can, uh, it's a counter skill, you can call a size 2 or less Neo Dragon from your hand by paying the call cost. So if it's in the soul, uh, you can just call a new one and the original one will go away, or there's jackknives that go on top of others, so you can just continue attacking either way. So it has plays. Uh, there's only one of the Garbell Anchor at the moment. I was playing two. Uh, you can play two, it's fine, it's just preference, but this card's really good. If you go into attack, um, it's a counter, pay a gauge and a life, negate a spell your opponent activates. So if they go to shield, you can just negate it and probably kill them. For the gauge acceleration, we have Dragon Arms Weiger. Uh, if it's put from the soul of a Neo Dragon in the drop zone, you get two gauge, only once per turn. Uh, same thing with Tall Nada. Um, you can put it from the drop zone. Uh, when it's put from the drop zone into Soul or from Field into Soul, uh, you gain a gauge, so gauge accelerate. On to the main guys of the deck, we have three of the J Galaxion and three Triple Buster. Uh, these guys just give your guys crits. Um, this one gives, if 
it's in the soul, it gives them a crit, penetrate, a plus 3k attack. This one, if it's in the soul, uh, gives them a crit, and if it's uh, if your impact monster with this card in the soul uh, attacks, it can't be nullified. So it's really good with the impact, they can't be reduced or nullified, so they just pretty much die. Uh, so, so these are the main combos. You can play 4-4 four four or 4-3, four I'm just testing this out right now. This isn't a definite build, it's just the first brew. On to the jackknife stuff, we have jackknife SD, uh, call it, uh, size 1, you can call it out if you have another jackknife or just target itself. Uh, call it out, look at top 3 cards, put a monster into a soul of a Neo Dragon, and uh, put the rest in drop zone, so you can call out one of your big jackknives, and then call this out separate to start adding cards to the soul, get your plays off. Uh, also got a 2 crit, which is pretty helpful. And we got uh, Hero Dragon, uh, Jackknife, um, Pay Gauge, call it on top of any card, I believe. Yeah, just put it on top of any monster. Uh, look at the top card of your deck and either put it into your hand or the soul. So if you look at the top and there's a Triple Buster or a Galaxian or any kind of Dragon Lance, you can just put it straight into the soul. Or if it's a good card you need, you can just put it into hand, so this card's really good for filtering. It's also more of a defensive jackknife. It's got 6k defense. And there's full liberate jackknife. Uh, this is the multi attacker. When you attack with it, you can uh, soul blast a card to restand him. And so you can have plays with this where you attack with this and then call this guy for drop zone on top and then attack more and then you go impact and you have restanding spells and items. So you can get like six attacks off if everything goes well. Uh, his call cost is pay a gauge for the top card of deck uh, into soul, so you can't really get him from drop zone into soul. But if you're a sack, you can get triple muster into soul and call him. I've, only, I've done that a couple times. My avatar always comes to my call. Does <laughs> that trigger you? <laughs> Triple Buster. <laughs> uh, Galaxy Dragon or Jackknife. This is the buddy. Uh, still all relevant at the moment. Maybe in a couple weeks I'll be old, washed up, old news. But <laughs> for now, the joke's still alive. Uh, so, Galaxy Dragon or Jackknife. Uh, Pay Gauge. Add a card from Drop Zone to Soul. Uh, it's counter during either player's turn, I believe. Uh, or during my turn, okay. okay. Uh, call a jackknife by paying his call cost on top of this guy. So he helps the multi-attack thing. He's got three crit by himself. Only thing that sucks about him is if he's your starting jackknife and you don't have any way to get cards into the drop zone, you're just kind of stuck there, which I've run into a couple times. I've had to call over stuff. Actually, it's all So that's kind of lame. But overall, really good card. Final card is the uh, Jackknife Galactical Punisher. Uh, pay three gauge, put it on top of a Neo Dragon on your board. Um, put a card from your drop zone into the soul when he comes out. And he's got Penetrate, Soul Guard, and when he attacks, uh, if he's attacking alone, I believe. Yeah, attacking alone uh, can't be reduced. So if you have the Dragon Arms, Jay Galaxion, and this card attacking can't be reduced or nullified, so no shields or. Black Dragon Shield, nothing. Nothing stops it. Then you have the Spell Nullifier, so in case they have anything, uh, you can negate it too. So uh, I've had games where first turn, like I'm going first, I just go straight to impact and I attack and have a bunch of Triple Busters and Galaxians and so on. I do 7 damage first turn and just, uh, snowball the game from there. Uh, so this deck is pretty aggressive. Um, I haven't really tried the more mid-range consistent version I gotta do the video on it. Uh, if you want to try the consistent version, you want to play um, 4, Style of Justice, uh, negate your opponent's effects, uh, it's a 3 crit weapon, which is very, very good. Uh, then you can play 2 of the Extend Defender, it can either reduce damage to 0. Uh, it's, it's pay gauge if you have a monster with 2 souls, uh, you can pay, uh, counter card or reduce damage to zero, so it's a very good defensive card. Um, another shield they got really good is Star Jack uh, Docking. Um, pay Gauge and Negate an Attack and then put a card from your drop zone into the soul, so it filters and stops an attack, so it's also very good. And then the other jackknife that's really good is the Soul Aster. Uh, if he's on left or right and you would take damage, reduce the damage by two. And then all your monsters effects, the cards in Soul, um, can't be nullified. Yeah, his call cost is pay gauge, put it on top of a uh, jackknife. So it's a very good card. Uh, this is the, if you add, add the cards I just showed you. 
uh, if you want to play a more consistent, non-OTK, fast version. Um, yeah. So I was deck profile. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. If you can get it off, it actually wins.